Hey Rory Marco here again uh, with uh, Marco Custom Models. This is uh, a model that I built a quite a few years ago now, probably close to 10 years. I wanted to make, uh, I'm into movie cars and I wanted to do uh, Ace Ventura Pet Detectives Monte Carlo. And uh, well here it is, this is my representation of it. Spent a lot of time watching the movie to get all the dents right and things like that. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I had a lot of fun building this car. I like doing stuff that's sometimes damaged or weathered. And uh, there's the hood there. I never made a way of attaching it with hinges or anything like that. Quite a bit of work on the car. The only problem with the car would be the the grill. He had the uh, 71 and this is a 70. So the marker lights are up in the uh, the grill and, and these would have been filled in. And at the time, I didn't... Uh, Take the time to have to re-chrome the bumper and everything like that so but anyway there's the uh, engine bay i left the big block 454 in it i'm not sure if that's what i had in the movie but anyway the weathered it up uh this made it look relatively used but not completely you know horrible uh the driver's side of the car the dents uh, all these i watched the movie several times to get them right the ones in the roof there when he rolled it the back windows out because it got uh, smashed out in the beginning of the movie and same with the windshield got uh, beat up with the baseball bat in the interior of this car I had to make bench seats um, as you can see there the the seats I used uh, two rear seats out of 1962 Pontiac Catalina AMT uh, so I used the rear one in the front as well and then the headrests and back came off out of a 57 Chevy AMT kit. The uh, back end, I didn't have a, a way to do the license plate correct so I just put a white blank on there. Um, I should probably go back and, and at least do that. The passenger side of the car, uh, again watching the movie, getting all the dents uh, as close to the way they were in the movie. Uh, as possible got some wheels I can't remember what kit they were exactly out of but they looked uh, like Chevy wheels and, and they represent it quite well in the in the car the uh, the underside I did some weathering I painted it blue and then did a, a black wash with um, I think that was uh, an oil based wash and then the uh, the rust sort of brownish color was was watercolor over top of uh, a sprayed uh, frame that was done in in a lacquer. The um, exhaust pipe on this on the movie car when he rolled it, you could see it. So I, I got it as close as I could to the to the movie car. This was uh, single exhaust on the car. I bent it all out of um, hollow aluminum tubing. I used a plastic muffler. When I assembled this car, I was working with um, super glues, so this car is put together that way, um, so not your typical tester's glue or anything like that, and not the plastic magic I'm using now. Uh, the front, uh, front end, I, I cut the steering uh, rod out of the A-arm assembly, it was all molded as one, and uh, I didn't glue the spindle so I, I made it so it had steering in the front so you could pose it in the you know when you set it down that just gives it a different way to make it look so yeah that's my uh 1970 monte carlo ace venture or pet detective uh car so i'd like to hear the feedback comments uh i'd, I'd like to know what you guys think if you want to see other things i'm just going through all the cars that i'm working on right now and then this way, um, as I work on them, I'll do some update videos. But I just want to get some stuff out for you to see things I've done and things I'm working on. Well, have a good day, YouTubers. And uh, if you like, please subscribe. Thank you.